I mean, I don't see really how it's any different than than doing a job like repairing something or or selling something. I mean, you're selling a service. Yeah. have a misunderstanding about street performers in general. They have a very, most places they have a very, well, who, he just wants the money for drugs. He's just a somehow a bum kind of look at it. Con artists being mixed with street performing. So it's, it's difficult. You know that he doesn't actually have magical abilities. Hey. At least I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Everyone always asks me this, and there's real, there's no real magic answer. It's uh, I was, I was, I was, I was looking for a new hobby. I had an old one, and it didn't work out for various reasons. And I was looking for something, and I got bored, and I just went on the internet. And one of the things that popped up was a, a magician doing a magic trick. Back then, of course, I had no idea how it was done. I had that. A sense of amazement and wonder that everyone has and they see a magic trick for the first time and they're just completely dumb. I mean, that's why you become a magician. That's why pretty much anyone becomes a magician is because they, they love that feeling. I mean, you ask pretty much any magician, they'll give you a similar story. They want to give, they want to be able to give that feeling to others and experience the joy of their reactions and have fun with it, you know? It's a wonderful feeling. Uh, like a child again? Yeah. Well, no, not a child, but just uh, happy. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been happy. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. Like so much fun, so entertaining, and yeah, I felt like just a little little girl again, I guess. Yeah, magic is, and in my opinion, always will be a live entertainment. Form, it's a live entertainment kind of form. It's it's it's, it's just the way it's, it's meant to be. It's, it does it, it can work on television and movies, but not the same. You always have that sneaking suspicion that there was some kind of camera or editing trick involved, and a lot of times there is. But when it's live and it happens right in front of you, you're engaged. You're thinking you're a, think about it. You're thinking you're on top of everything. You know what's going to happen. But then something unexpected and amazing happens in front of you, and you were watching the whole time, you, you can close your mind. I always watch magic on television, yeah. like just being in person of it, though. Yeah, yeah, it feels great. It's like getting conned, but you're not losing any money. It's awesome. <laughs> Very few people can do just straight magic, you know, with no performance, and, or just doing the trick really well, and make it entertaining. Most magicians have to, they have to make it funny. I mean, me, I pretty much have always, and I still do, I perform comedy magic, which is, well, comedy magic. And without the, without the comedy, it, it just gets dull. It's just me fooling you. And that's great for two tricks. But, but, but after that, you kind of get like, all right, I get it. Ten or twelve was last. Ten to twelve years old was the last time I saw magic, and uh, it was my cousin doing magic. But he did kind of the same thing, street. Yeah. So street. Cool. Yeah. Street. 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 <laughs> you gotta, you gotta start off with something that catches their attention, something that's fun. I usually do like something visual, like I'll throw up a bunch of cards, or I'll, or I'll vanish a large object or something. I gotta do with a squeaky ball. We get Mr. Ordinary. That's what we have to do to make sure. What, sir? Where's the street? You have to do it just right. You have to do it just right. Full palm, full palm, full palm. <laughs> let me try, let me try, let me try, let me try. Yes, sir, do you know why it's not working? No. Because I have the sweeters right here. <laughs> Once you've got their attention, you do something good and the good, and then you move on to the best stuff. Until, of course, the finale, which is. That, that, that one has to be the grand. That has to basically. They've liked it, they've loved it, but then you have to go wham and just, you know, really blow their minds. Yeah, wow. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. But that's even better. That's pretty damn good. And this is f***ing amazing. Thank you. My, 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 my shows, they're tricks, they're illusions, they're skill, the fun, the, the, the magic is not in the tricks, it's in the performance, the enjoying of people. I don't know how 
about where the lemons and watermelon came from at all. I, I don't know how that happened either. No, but it uh, watermelon in your hat. You're a magician. Was your mind blown? It was blown. You've been a wonderful crowd, everybody. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.